Now, from here, we could uh, model the um, the second floor framing joist. We could go up from there and model the roof framing. Um, I think we'll just, let's just go down and uh, do our foundation wall with our footing around there. So we're just going to put in a five foot foundation wall. And I think we'll just run it underneath all of these. And then we can have some intermittent supports underneath there as well. So, uh, and it's just going to be a slab on grade. So let's go to our top of footing level, double click, and we're down in here. And what we're going to do, I think we'll draw a 10 inch concrete foundation wall and we'll just kind of center it on these grid lines. So let's go to wall under structure and we're going to click a wall type on here. Now you're going to notice there's a wall type, at least there used to be one called foundation wall. Now the interesting thing is about this particular wall, although this is the right size, it's 300 millimeter and it's concrete, you'll notice that this wall has to go depth. It has to go from where you're drawing down rather than up. And that's because of inside of here, its function is foundation. If we just change this to be exterior instead and hit OK, what happens is it frees this up so that we can actually draw the wall going upward instead of downward. So we're going to use this, but we're just changing that setting on here from foundation to be exterior solves that problem. So now we can go from the top of the footing. We're going to say up. Um, that's OK. And we're going to say we're going to go up to main with an offset of zero. OK, so top of footing with an offset of zero up to the top of the main floor with an offset of zero. Location line of the wall is going to be centered. OK, we'll use the chain plan offset of zero, no rows, no radius. Everything's good. In fact, what I can do is I can use a rectangle tool and click on here. Go down to there and then I can just use a regular segment. Go across here. Take another regular segment, go across there. Escape, escape. Now walls are going to clean up for us quite nicely down in there. Okay, um, let's add some dimensions on here. And the other thing is we can copy and paste dimensions from plan to plan. That's exactly what we're going to do. In fact, I should have just copied them rather than redoing these guys. Okay, so if we go to top of main, um, we can go one, two, three, four, and go control C, copy it to the clipboard, go top of second, and say paste to current view, top of roof, paste to current view, bingo. Back to my footing, foundation looks good, go to my 3D view, okay, there's my building so far. And let's let's line in a lock. Uh, the grid, the columns and grids are already kind of locked to the to the grid. They naturally do, but the walls didn't. Let's go back to here for a second. Let's use our align and lock tool because I'm going to move the grid lines and watch everything update. So I'm going to say align, align to here, tab this wall and lock it. Okay. Now I'm going to say align, oh, multiple must be on. Align to here, tab, tab, click the wall, lock it. Just those two, okay? Um, and now I'm going to go to my 3D view and I'm going to add some foundation footings on here. Um, structure, um, foundation over here, wall footing. Okay, a wall footing, uh, three foot by 12 inches, which is what this is. Sure, I'm gonna hover, tab, click. Puts a footing on there, put a footing on there, put a footing on there. Escape, escape, escape. Go down here, shaded mode. Okay, so there's our 
structure so far with our foundation, our footing, and our um, grid lines and all of our dimensions. And I believe our renamed levels as well. 